Why is the salt industry so powerful? They have their own PR and lobbying firms to play tobacco industry-style tactics to downplay the dangers. But salt is so cheap. I mean, how much money are they really making? It's not the salt mine barons. It's the processed food industry. Just like the sugar industry could care less if we buy a two-pound bag at the store, it's the trillion-dollar processed food industry that uses the dirt-cheap added salt and sugar to sell us their junk. And by hooking us on hyper-sweet, hyper-salty foods, our taste buds get so dampened down that natural foods taste like cardboard. The ripest fruit may not be as sweet as fruit loops, so we just continue to buy more and more. But there are two other major reasons the food industry adds salt to food. The other two reasons, entirely commercial, and for most foods, are the real reason the food industry wants the intake of salt to remain high. If you add salt to meat, it draws in water, so you can increase the weight by like 20%. And since it's sold by the pound, that's 20% more profits for very little cost. Salt also makes us thirsty. Bars offer free salted peanuts for a reason. Soda companies own snack companies for a reason. It's not just a coincidence that Pepsi and Frito-Lay are the same company. Would we shell out nine bucks for a drink at the movies after eating a bucket of unsalted popcorn? Would we supersize our soda if, we didn't, if they didn't salt our fries and Big Mac? But that's not the only reason salt is added to meat. It solubilizes the muscle proteins to a gel for optimum meat texture. That's one of the reasons the meat and fish industries, like the so-called meat glue enzyme, uh, transglutaminase, uh, meat glue can help uh, gel the muscle protein without adding salt. But some of these salt alternatives leave a bitter aftertaste in the meat, but this problem can be managed by also adding a bitter blocking chemical to the meat, which work by blocking the activation of our taste receptors, preventing that information from ever reaching our brain. Uh, the meat industry acknowledges that their products contribute a significant amount of dietary sodium, maligning their image, but salt is just so cheap that using anything else would cost them money. However, if they're able to resolve this cost issue, if they can make it cost-effective, then one day maybe they could end up saving millions of lives as well as dollars.